Well, back, oops, back again, Budget Comics, wanted to finish this off, got interrupted there, but wanted to uh, finish off this haul video, so check out part one if you're uh, just watching this. This will, wasn't going to be a two-parter, but now is. Uh, just finish up with Hitman number 18, first appearance of Dog Welder. Love these offbeat characters, Dog Welder welds dead dogs, as you can see, uh, to evildoers' faces. Uh, dollar Book. A uh, really fun character. I've actually named all my fantasy sports teams after this character. Uh, just really cool and fun. Uh, you know, like I said, just love the offbeat stuff. Uh, next is a little uh, speculation here. This is the first appearance of Chase. Uh, who's that lady right there? Who is an agent uh, uh, for the government who deals with... Uh, super uh superpower type crimes and things like that she has some powers of her own um i think it's like psychotic abilities i can't remember exactly off the top of my head but this is batman 550 um really cool if you're looking at this it's like a 50 cent dollar book but it does have cards in it so if you do pick it up make sure it has the cards just in case it does become something but with gotham coming out and uh different things like that she might show up you never know um, next is, this is, uh, if you want to be that guy that ticks off, uh, other YouTubers, uh, in the comic book, uh, comic book hall community, uh, this is a fun book to have, and you can tick them off, because I, I've seen a lot of people get ticked off with, uh, uh, Superman Adventures number four, where people say that's the first appearance of Livewire, where it's just the ad, as I mentioned with the Go Hobgoblin issues. Uh, this is Batman Adventures, uh, the Batman Adventures number 11, and uh, this will really tick some people off. This is the first mention of Harley Quinn in comics. Uh, you know, the little yellow box where they tell you what's upcoming, it tells you about the next issue, and it says Harley and Poison Ivy will be giving Batgirl a hard time next month. So if you really want to make people upset and get under their skin... Uh, start showing this book in your videos, uh, and you will probably get some anger aimed in your direction. Uh, again, I know it's not worth anything, um, but it's just, you know, thought I'd just share it uh, for the sake of sharing it. So, uh, this is Superman number two, second series. Um, this is where Lex Luthor actually learns that Clark Kent is Superman. Uh, that lady over there uh, puts together a team and puts together, you know, uses this big computer and it generates that Clark Kent is Superman. And Lex Luthor doesn't believe it. He fires her, fires the whole team, the whole bit, uh, shuts down the computer because he can't believe that someone with Superman's power would take on the disguise of Clark Kent. Uh you know, this mild-mannered, normal guy. Uh, so, you know, it, it's not worth anything, really, but it's kind of a fun book to think, and it's a fun read, and it's one of those... I, I like standalone stories, you know. It's just something you can pick up real fast in 15, 20 minutes, quick read. Um, you know, just really, really cool book. Uh you know, and it's neat to think that Lex actually didn't know Superman's identity, but just would not believe it, and could not believe it. And to end this video, I uh, want to uh, highlight the uh, creator here. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man 328, part of the Acts of Vengeance uh, storyline, where uh, Spider-Man has his cosmic powers. And this is where he fights the Hulk. It uh, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk. Uh, with his cosmic abilities. And this is the last uh, work Tom McFarlane does on The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, now, of course, this isn't his last work on Spy uh, with the character of Spider-Man. He, he moves into his own title with Spider-Man number one, of course. Uh, but something that was so historic, a, a run... Uh, you know, that really, first of all, introduced Venom, but also just submitted this guy as the superstar artist. You know, the, the Michael Jordan, the Wayne Gretzky, the Joe Montana, whatever you want to say, 
of comics for the 80s and 90s. It was this run that really made Tom McFarlane who he is. And this is his last issue on this title. Uh, $5 book. Um, but, you know, if you're a Spider-Man fan, Tom McFarlane fan, just a comic fan in general. And it's a cool story. So I don't want to take that away from it. But for five bucks, why not? You know, why not just have something really cool um, that you can share with with other other comic book fans? So, all right, that's it. Like if you like, I'll do another one if uh, if you don't anyway. So, uh, and just want to thank uh, Why Not Art uh, for so many kind words, and of course, uh, Vin Crew for all his kind words, and uh, you know. Uh, Got kind words in the beginning from um, uh, Tum Tumua, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and uh, and and Lightning um, two two three eight if I'm getting the numbers correct. Uh, so just as I'm watching these videos, just people that that put out a lot and are well liked to have them uh, say nice things about these videos, uh, really cool. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye.